like I never had it at all. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I just received a question, uh, an email from a player, and his question is, when you take your stride with your front foot, do you want to keep your foot closed with your foot pointing towards the plate, or would it be better to have your foot pointing more towards the pitcher? It's a question I get every now and then, especially when doing lessons. Um, and what I want to do is we're going to show you five or six different players kind of show you what they do. Everyone does it a little bit differently. Um, I know when I'm hitting, when I'm teaching hitting, what I think of is during my stride, I'm looking to take my front hip and my front side and moving my body towards the pitcher and staying square to the pitcher with my shoulder, my front hip, my foot. But when I begin my swing, I don't think about opening my front foot. But as the swing begins and you start to rotate, most guys, their front foot is going to turn a little bit. So I may land with my front foot facing, pretty much facing the plate and pretty square. But as I begin the swing, my front foot starts to turn. And if you look at me at contact, my front foot and my toe is not going to be pointing towards the plate, but it's going to be pointed more towards first base or even towards the second baseman. And that just happens. That's not something I'm consciously thinking about, but there's a lot of rotation and force going on, and it's going to turn your front foot a little bit. And we'll go through some guys, kind of see what they do. So first off, let's start off with Evan Longoria. And you can see when he strides and when he lands right here, his toes are pretty square. I'd say that's basically facing the plate. As he begins to rotate, what you'll see is the toe turns. And here at contact, it's facing basically first base, maybe a little bit more towards the second base position. And he follows through. The next guy we can look at is Chase Utley. And here's his stride. He lands. Toes are pretty square. Pretty much facing the plate. As it begins to rotate and make contact, you can see his front foot. He actually keeps his front foot closed a little bit more than most guys, but still, it's pointing towards basically third base, a little bit to the shortstop position. And you can see the little natural roll that happens on most guys as they follow through. Next we have Barry Bonds. And just to let you guys know, um, I just picked out five random hitters. I just went into my database and basically just picked five videos. I don't even know who I picked. So next Barry Bonds, we'll watch him. As he strides and lands, his toes are basically square. His front foot might be slightly open a little bit. As he gets the contact, right about there, his toe is facing basically third base. And you can see as he follows through, his foot really opens up. Just a lot of force going on there. And it's naturally going to open. Next we have Bobby Abreu. Here's his stride, and you can see that actually when he lands, he has a little bit of an open stride, and his toe isn't as square. It's basically already facing more towards third base or a little bit towards the shortstop. And as he makes contact, his toe basically stays in the same spot, but it's pretty similar to everyone else where it's not completely closed. It's more towards third base or towards the shortstop position. And the last video we'll look at is Ryan Braun. You can see his stride. And you can see Braun is a little bit different than some of the other guys as his foot is square here, but it actually, right when it's about to land, it opens up. And his is almost pointed straight to the pitcher. And this pitch is an inside pitch, which could have made him, as he's in his stride, 
and watching this ball released, it could have caused him to open early, which he does a really good job of getting his hands to the inside pitch and hitting a home run. But you can see at contact, he's basically his toes pointed at the pitcher. So everyone does it a little bit differently. I think the important thing is to know that your front foot doesn't have to stay locked in and pointed towards the plate. I think if you do this, it's going to limit your ability to rotate forcefully. If your front foot isn't allowed to move a little bit, well, it's going to kind of lock your hip in there, and your rotation isn't going to be as quick and as efficient. And I know that a lot of a lot of guys, a lot of younger kids, um, are taught to keep that front foot facing the plate. And the reason for that is a lot of coaches are afraid that a player might prematurely spin off the ball, open up too early. And we know with younger players, stepping in the bucket and pulling off balls is a big, a big problem. So the way I would do it is, and the way I think of it, is during my stride phase, when I'm striding, I want to think about moving my momentum towards the pitcher. That's my shoulder and my hip. And my front foot kind of just moves that way where it's kind of pointing towards the plate. But as I'm about to land, and like I said, I land with my foot basically facing the plate. And as you can see from these guys, some do, some don't. The important thing is to stay square during your stride. But once you're about to land or you do land, your front foot can turn a little bit. It's going to turn. I think it's better to let it do what it needs to do instead of locking it in there and really locking your hip up and not allowing yourself to rotate. So I hope this helps. Uh, thanks for the email, and uh, we'll talk to you later.